Okay, so I'm going to call this meeting to order and say that we have on line so far, we have Miss April Grace, Greta Henry, Trisha Flatt, Robin Costin, and Maria Rutherford. And Bonnie Rutherford is actually here too. Yay. Yeah. All right. So, um, additions to the agenda, um, I added um, 8I and J down here, the Secretary of State and the tax form, um, <clears throat> just to let you know that I have done that. So I didn't put on here the minutes that were sent. Those need to be approved, but I need Robin to make a, um, an adjustment. You stated in there that um, Casey was going to pay the $25 um, fee to break the checks, and we didn't approve that. We voted yeah. that. We voted uh, that down. Voted what down? Oh, to break the, the CD? Yeah, we voted that we would not pay the penalty. That, that was up to the Audubon chapter to pay that. So I just want that um, made mention in the... Um, because yeah, that's pretty significant. Yes. In the in the board minutes. Okay, so do I have um motion to approve as amended? Yes. Greta? And do I have a second? April 2nd. Okay, thank you. All in favor, please say aye. Mm -hmm. Aye. All opposed? Okay, so that we're going to make that adjustment in the minutes for our special meeting. Okay. And next we have the approval of the agenda with the additions being made um, that I spoke of of A, I, and J. And I think I'm going to keep this format because I really like like it so that I can um, name them, name each one of them and give them a number. Um, so do I have a, an approval for the agenda, please? So this is Tricia, I approve. Oh, do I have a second? Got a second. Okay, all approve, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, so looking at the board reports, um, Jay sent in a membership report, and uh, just want to take a look at that for just a second. Gotta find it first. Five A. Where are you? Okay. Um, she really didn't send in a report. She basically talked about, or sent this about the chapter affiliates with their login information and how many um, NACI members or current members that they have. So this is a breakdown. That's the login number is not really public knowledge, but okay. Okay, I'm sorry. That's all right. Here. Um, not that it matters, because I mean, it's going away anyway. Okay. So, um, but right here I wanted you all to notice, and, you know, Tricia has been trying to start the Bluegrass chapter, but there are 20 people um, listed, and, um, well, there's 55, and then, I guess, 20 at the University of Kentucky, so... But 
but this chapter right here, um, I mean, that's that's a significant number of people. So we really need to get get on target with that. Does anybody um, know Sarah Taylor? Well, it's Sarah Vanover, and I have sent oh. her an email. She hasn't responded to me. Um, so I think I'm going to Facebook her and see if she'll respond to me that way. Great. Now, that's the problem I run into. You know, like, look, Bob Wilcher's name's on most of them. Mm hmm So. Yeah. But I just, and, and then I was going to talk to um, Jennifer Grisham Brown about this one just to see what she had to say about it. Um, but if you combine these two, I mean, that is 75 people. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, I just thought that was interesting. So, I just wanted to point that out with from Jay's information. And then also, I've been sending Jay um, the SECA memberships, which are coming in, you know, quite regularly at least twice a month and um, so we're trying to figure out and hope that Sika will figure out how to break it up into our chapters too um, so anyway okay the communications report or does anybody have any anything they want to say about the membership report Um, well, come on. Um, <clears throat> Sue's done a really good job. Every time I tell her to, or ask her to, um, update Facebook, she's constantly doing that. She's been sending out some really good stuff. These are the reports from, um, Facebook. And... Thought this was interesting. 95% women, 4% men. Um, and these are the different things that she has, she's put out, and the hits. Um, so she's been pretty active in in April and March. And then um, we've also, let's see, we are we now have 363 Facebook members, so we're up 37 from the fall, and which is really good. I think that's that's pretty awesome. So I just want to encourage, you know, um, professors to really, and teachers, you know, with people that you're surrounding with to you know get them to like our page take them to the page and and have them look at that and and I've been saying to my students you know this is part of advocacy learning how what kinds of things that you need to know this just kind of expands your knowledge um, the other thing I don't see where Sue did was um, in working with she works a lot with um, um, I can't think of her first name. Miss Smith from Ga Gateway. Oh. Sarah. Sarah. Yeah, and um, <clears throat> Sarah's does a great job with our um web page, and um, she's she's actually working on um ensuring that like our board reports are going to go up there and all of our minutes are going to start going on to the actual website so that we can be transparent with our um, our members <clears throat> and the Regio conference that I sent out to all of you all she put that right up on um, the website and Facebook um, 
I, th I need to check with her to make sure she's got kids ready up there. But we're trying to just really be um, forthright so that we can help get those communications out to our members. Okay, and any questions on that or comments? Ms. Greta, you want to talk about your report? Um, basically, it's been interesting with NACI trying to get Audubon up and running. Um, that login number didn't work, didn't work. Then it sent them to ours for Wikasey. Anyway, long story short, Audubon now has access to the NACI site, which will be defunct anyway soon. Um, but then we're having these trainings, this new all-star stuff. And part of that is professionalism. And so I asked Tricia and a couple others, you know, and Jay Sook about some kind of flyer that explains, you know, it's, it's on the SECA website, it's on the Casey website, but just some kind of flyer that I could hand out at these professional development for our providers. And that's awesome. So I kind of came up with that. Um, and then so they, they, did, they did a flyer? I did. I just did a you know, kind of took it from both the websites, and the dates was the interesting thing. You know, should I join NACI? Should I join SICA? You know, which one gets me Casey? You know, that kind of stuff. So, well, I loved, I'd love to have that just so I could pass it out myself. Okay. I, would awesome. like have, I would like to have one too, Greta, because I keep a notebook of everything that we do, and it's okay. all in there. Okay. I mean, it's nothing fancy. It was just, you know, how is this transition working? And I don't know. They're starting to do those area um, all-stars workshops yeah. for the providers. Uh -huh. So I wanted to make sure that that one was at the professional table. So. Okay. That's anyway. Um, yeah. And then we had our, our big conference. So, yeah, that's about it for now. But anyway, I did try to, you know, get into all those created that chart that you showed earlier um, so that Jacek knew the breakdown because I guess she wasn't getting the breakdown of where the membership comes from. So now it's easier for her to track. But right. I think Audubon's good to go with their login. Yeah, we just got to get them their money now so they get their, so we'll do, be working on that. Okay. okay. I don't know if this should go in the chapter report or later on, but we don't have the minutes from February, so all those things that we approved in February, April can't disperse because she doesn't have the written record. That's yeah. tr that's right. So we're going to go back over them tonight. I've got. Okay, them. that's okay. fine. I just wasn't that, sure where. Yeah. That was my okay. fault because at that point, my computer wasn't acting up, acting right. Oh and no. I got to the the minutes where they were recorded too late to get them. Okay. Yep. But other than that, um, you know, just looking at uh, cleaning up the database. With Terry Green, when I took this position, never told me that I guess I was supposed to go into the NACI sites for all the chapters uh -huh. and update all of that information. Um, so, unfortunately, I've just discovered it by playing around. So... Anyway, too late, but at least we figured it out. Cool, cool. So maybe, you know, I'm thinking maybe before that goes away, maybe finding somebody who just renewed in each of those chapters and see if they might want to be, you know, starting it up again. I don't know. It might be a way to target somebody who's current. Right. That's a good idea. Okay. Any questions for Greta? Okay, moving forward, we've got the Audubon minutes. I um, have those. Those were sent to you, but um, as you can see, they had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people at their meeting. So they said they established a quorum. Um, <clears throat> they elected their officers and which is one of the requirements and they went over the requirements for activating their chapter that that we um, 
approved in our special meeting that we had. Um, and then they started working on training, thinking about that. So their next meeting will be May the 19th at 10 o'clock, and their minutes are there. So anybody have any questions? Concerns. So this was part of their um, proposal that we put forward, stating for them to get their money back. This is one their first quarter report. Okay. Moving on, we've got Y Casey's um, report that came in from Teresa and. Um, she she talked a lot about um, let's see I didn't read this about their books books okay that was cool that they sent their leftover books from the 2016 Institute to hand out at Dr. Seuss night on March the 6th that's cool Did she send in the treasures report the KC the first quarter? Oh, um, never mind. It's it's never uh, mind. It's not done yet. Never mind. Well we've got second quarter's not over yet. Did somebody say something? Well, no, this would have been the one because they didn't have a uh, first quarter report, did they? They did, and it, we haven't. A first the one that's back, backdated is that we don't have minutes for is from fourth quarter, two thousand sixteen. So, I don't think we've approved first quarter seventeen. Do you mean? Is that true? The only dues that I have on them are let's see down here. Oh, never mind. I, I keep. I'm sorry, Maria. I keep skipping around. That's okay. This is what we've got to go back and approve this one. Okay. I didn't realize you have them broken up. I shouldn't, but I did. Reports to minutes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Gosh. I'll be quiet now. I'll mute myself. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay, any <coughs> any discussion on that? Okay. <clears throat> I feel like from the president's report it looks like I haven't done anything, but I feel like I have. And it's not going to open for me either. <coughs> um, April and I have been mailing back and forth. We've been keeping up with the checks and all that kind of stuff. <coughs> we decided that um, since there was so much money that came in with the Audubon group, that I would just take it to the bank here in Frankfurt instead of passing it back through the mail. Um, so I did that deposit for April. And um, <clears throat> so, and I probably, um, to help April out because she's not going to be in the office <coughs> a lot this summer. I probably just need to do the deposits for the summer. Um, that's fine, because I won't be in at all. Yeah, so I, that's kind of what I thought. So that's probably what I, or that is what I'll do. I'll just do the deposits this summer until we get, until we get back in in August. So. Will you get copies of it and send it to me? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, so one of the things that I've done as far as membership goes, um, um, <clears throat> I've done the normal two, first two things, but I've also went and talked to um, the Governor's Office of Early Childhood, and I'm, I've got an email, Miss Jet, um, and I can't remember her first name. But she is in charge of the Kids Ready Conference this year, so I, I asked um, them if I could do a Casey booth there, and they were just ecstatic that I would even ask to do that. I don't know if we're going to have to pay. They're going to have to tell, it, tell me that. Um, but I also mentioned that I needed a conference room for our board retreat. They said they were expecting us to ask for that, so they had already planned for that. And um, yeah, I just have to get the, the final word on that. Um, the other thing I've been doing is working with, still with Melissa Aguilar, who is the executive director of the Kentucky Workforce Innovative Board. And um, she is wanting me to sit on a task force with the governor to talk about early childhood and how the workforce development industry, how the two work together. And I laughed and I said, you know, um, Trisha used to, used to tell me that we should um, wear pins. Everybody should wear a pin for one day to show how many um, of us had kids in daycare. And how if daycares weren't available, how many people would not be able to go to their job. And so I mentioned that to Melissa and she was like, that is such a good idea. I said, well, I can't take credit for it. That's Trisha Platt's um, idea. But um, Trisha, I just thought that was really cool that they thought it was neat and that we should all do that. Um, I didn't. I didn't come up with that on my own. I stole it from somebody else. But yes, yeah, so I think it's a great idea. <laughs> so anyway, I also met with Kayla Jones at the Governor's Office of Early Childhood to say hi from Casey um, and to introduce myself as president. And um, and she's in charge of the Early Childhood Councils here in Kentucky. She replaced Hazel Combs and. Um, I was going to say hi to Linda Hampton, who's a really good friend of mine. Um, just talk to her about Casey and just try to figure out how um, that we could start really um, working with the Governor's Office of Early Childhood. But Linda was at a conference, so I've got to just contact her and say let's have lunch, talk about Casey. So that's part of what I'm going to be doing. Um, I've been working on the board retreat, trying to figure out um, basically how we're going to set it up this time so that we can get something done and um, that it can be fruitful and that we can go forth and plan in our future. Because remember, we want to jumpstart Casey at the SICA conference 2018. So we need to think about what kinds of items we're going to have in our booth there um, to really promote Casey. And then um, Greta and Jay and Tricia and I don't know who all else, but there's been a lot of people working on the Casey bylaws, the job descriptions, and the policy manual. And we're going to talk about that in a little while. And I just want to say thanks for all that because we've got to get those ready and out so to our members so that's my report any questions for me okay then we're going to move on to Trisha's report and she's got some really interesting things in her report so Trisha I don't know if you can not take a half an hour to go through everything because it looks like you've done a lot, but um, 
Go for it. Well, I just basically put down what I did while I was at the conference. <clears throat> and um, I worked on the bylaws. FICA does have a new executive director. His name is Mark Polavoy. He is uh, starting the 15th, I believe. Um, and Glenda's last day will be May 31st. Um, so he's going to come on and work with her for a little bit. His background is in um, associational management, he calls it, basically working with associations to develop themselves, promote themselves. Um, he's got a business background, he worked a lot with um, getting funding for associations, sponsorship supports through companies, exhibitors, you know, things like that. So um, he does not have an early childhood background, but uh, he's a smart cookie, and I think right now we're more in need of his kind of savvy than we are somebody with early childhood because we've got plenty of people with early childhood. Mm -hmm. So it, it wasn't a very difficult excuse me, decision for the board um, to choose him. But uh, he is he is from the north, so several people from the south uh, noticed right away that he's not necessarily, you know, touchy-feely. He's pretty blunt and straightforward, and so that might rub some people the wrong way. But uh, I think it's just going to take – it's going to be an adjustment no matter what because he's new, and Glenda's been here forever. Um so there will be, you know, some transitions, and I think we're all a little bit nervous, but uh, Glenda has such a, done a, such a good job and has so many people working uh, behind the scenes that I think it's pretty much going to be able to run itself in terms of management and organization while he can get his feet on the ground. <clears throat> so... Um, the 2018 conference, the venue's already set up. The contracts have been signed for that. Um, the professional development committee is uh, in the process of uh, putting together a list of keynote speakers. Um, I haven't had a chance to talk to the anybody on the PD commission lately, but... Um, I know some of that's probably going to take place, uh, if not before our board meeting in July, at the board meeting in July. <clears throat> so if anybody has suggestions or ideas about keynote speakers, um, that would be awesome. We are very interested in trying to put together a Spanish-only track, if possible, if, if at, at least some sessions that are Spanish-only if possible, a whole track. Um, we did a couple of sessions, not enough, I don't think, for a half a day, but specifically for home visitors at the conference in Biloxi, um, and that went over really well. Um, the faith-based forum that they did Saturday morning um, had a good showing, so I think that would be something that could easily be picked up here. Um, so those were some ideas about... Uh, specific groups um, if anybody has any contacts or ideas or suggestions um, I can pass on those along to the professional development committee um, the membership commission is in charge of the membership table of course and the student event um, and we've already talked about some possible ideas for the student event um, it's the 69th annual conference, but it's the 75th anniversary, we think, of the forming of FICA. So we talked about doing some kind of birthday celebration, um, birthday cakes. You know, we're, you know, just preliminarily getting started. But the idea is that the more fun uh, and interactive we can make it, you know, obviously the better off we are. Um, 
And so having props, having door prizes, having excited people, uh, having lots of hospitality, all those things contribute. We actually were able to get 52 new members, which is the biggest growth we've had in a long time. <clears throat> so we were very excited about that. Um, but basically, we're just trying to let Mark get his feet wet and keep going forward with what we've been doing in terms of uh, following Glenda's processes to get the conference put together. The call for proposals is already out there, so you're welcome to submit um, those. And um, if you have any contacts or ideas of places, locations, people, um, just let me know. I can't think of anything else. Great job. Hey, anybody have any questions? Okay, okay. <clears throat> Moving on to the chapter dues. Um, Audubon. Um, this is their report for um, January 1st through March the 31st. So this is an item that we have to vote on and we owe them $25. So do I have a motion on the floor to pay Audubon area for the first quarter $25? So moved. Mrs. Greta. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody oppose? Okay, so that has passed. And it's Audubon. Who hmm? second? Who second that? Nobody did. You just asked us to approve it, but I'll second. This is okay. Tricia. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And let me look at this second one because I think it's not the full quarter. Yeah. Okay. So this one's got to stay, I guess. Yeah. It's got to come back. They're paid Any? quarterly. She just wondered what I put those together for. Okay. She just so. um, wondered where they stood. And she's really looking more at the members. Okay, so... <clears throat> um, this Approval one, the reason, of those. reason Greta is saying that is because the second quarter ends in, in June, so this one will come back for a vote um, right. after after that. Okay, so why, Casey, um, they didn't have a... I'm not sure why. I'm sitting on it. It's $28. Should I, can I send it to you an email now? Yeah. If I can get in there and do that. Anyway, I know it's um, it's 28. Okay, so uh, can we go ahead and, and approve that for Wakasi? And I think April's got a copy of it, too. Okay. So do I have a motion on the board to approve Wakasi's um, chapter dues for first quarter is $28? This is Trish. I move. Do I have a second? Okay. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. So we have approved that while well, Casey will be paid twenty eight dollars. Okay. So our new business that we need to talk about is um, updating the Nancy board roster, Greta, I wasn't sure about um, what this email was and why it's how to how to update your roster on the Nacy thing. Was this something I'm supposed to do? I 
Honestly, Maria, I don't know who was. I, again, you know, when I took over as chapter liaison, I'm thinking that I was supposed to be doing this, but I just was never told. Okay. So I did update with Casey's and Audubon's. Okay. Um, but again, you saw on that other chart you showed in the beginning, um, you saw Bob Wilcher's on those other chapters. Right. So my question is, should I update you on those other, put your name on those other chapters? That's probably what I would do. I mean, just for best business at this point. That's, that's Since we don't have, you know, they're not active. We don't really have a chair. But I don't think his name should be on, you know, when Nancy closes all this out, it should be a current person, my personal opinion. Okay, so I'll tell you what, let's um, make a copy of that. Well, we already, I already have a copy. Yeah. So let's go in and change all those names that aren't active to me. Okay. So let's put a motion on the floor um, to give Greta permission to change. What, what we're talking about is... It's the, the chapter contact, um, I think that's what they call them. Yeah, it's not a, here it is. <coughs> this right here, we're talking about changing um, these three to my name. Um, I don't know about Karen Brown. Then the rest of these need to be changed. And I'm not sure why AC is not on that one. I don't either. But I did put Lynn Brown's name in and the officer. See, there's a section for the officers, too. So what Casey's is up to date and AC's is up to date on the NACI website. Okay. But these are the ones that... You know, if you, if you want it, Maria's name or whatever. Okay. So I can do it. I just don't know. Need approval. Do I have a motion on the board on the floor to approve changing all the contact list other than A Casey and Y Casey to the president's name? This is Trish. I make a motion. Do I have a second? This is Greta, second. Okay. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. That is approved. Okay. And going forward, um, 7B, um, to talk about the Kids Ready Conference. I wanted to know if you all did want to have a table, a booth at Casey, and... If there is a um, financial responsibility, how much do you want me to spend? I haven't even looked at that, so I don't even know. Um, I, I, this is Trish. I think we should have a table, but I'm not going to be able to staff it except after our retreat if we're going to do it then because I can't take off, but I think we should have a table. And I, I don't have any idea how much it costs, but I would think no more than $500 if that much. Yeah, that's wow. what I was thinking. Um, and if it's more than that, then I would argue that I think that's ridiculous and we need to promote professionalism and we need to cut rate <laughs> or something. I don't know. Um, I don't, the only time that I don't think it can be manned would be during our retreat. And, um, Maria, Did, can you hear me? Yes. Do you have any students that are going to the retreat? 
I do, but I would rather them be in a training. I mean, I'm I'm going to man it as ma many hours as I possibly can. Um, just what is the I don't I don't need the hours number one, and um, but there's I've got res other some other responsibilities that I have to do so. Um, what are the dates for that kids ready thing? Um, 28th through 30th in yeah. June? Yeah. June? Yes. Uh, you said 28th through 30th. It's a Wednesday through a Friday. Okay. What are they doing on July 25th? July? Uh, no idea. Okay, because somebody's asked me to do something. My son has... Um, he has uh, been awarded a Fulbright Summer Institute scholarship. Wow. And I'm not sure when exactly he's supposed to leave and all that good stuff, but once he leaves, I'm going to be off the grid. So I think that falls right in between that, I think. I'm not, we don't have any flight information yet, so I can't commit. Okay. Uh, Maria, yeah. I can probably... What day is our retreat on? Well, that's what we're going to decide. I because thought we I decided on the day. I the thought flight. we decided on the 30th. The last day of it. Right. Yeah. The, fr the Saturday? No, Friday. Oh. Friday. Okay. Because I, I had already asked off for that day. Okay. Well, then, if I, if we've already decided that, that's fine. I just, for some reason, I just didn't realize that. Well, I actually, we didn't. But I think that's the date you had put out there. Okay. I could probably help man it one day. Well, I mean, I'll be there. Wednesday and Thursday, Friday will be the day we maybe we should just take turns during that during our board retreat. Some of us. Well, and again, the conference ends at what what one thirty on Friday. So most of those tables will be gone down right Friday anyway. Okay, so if I think if we're there Wednesday and Thursday. And then we we just say that we won't be there Friday. That um, that'll be good. Okay. Yeah, okay. I could probably help do it Thursday. Okay. All right. So um, the other thing, uh, I'll check on the booth and then I'll let you all know about the price and then we'll go from there. Um, and we'll just do a special email vote on that, whatever. Um, the lunch for the retreat, I'd really like to do lunch. Um, does anybody have any ideas? One time we all brought something um, and kind of had a potluck type thing. Do you think that's possible? Are we allowed to do that? <laughs> According well, to the hotel. Know. The last time they told me no, I forgot about that. We had to buy from them or go out. Right. That's what, that's what we had to do. I forgot. Um, and there's really no place close to eat. And and that was the other issue. You know, we all went to that one place to eat, and our lunch took forever. So. I don't know. Could
I was trying to think if we could get somebody to cater it, but that's the same thing. We, they were not supposed to do that. Yeah, they said no caterers except their, their staff. Staff. And I just don't see paying $20 for a sandwich. I was I was going to say that I would bake chicken salad and bring it and get all chicken salad but I don't know. I don't know. What I just don't want us to I don't want us to get in trouble with the hotel or call I don't trouble. Either. Or so I guess we'll say that lunch will be on our own this time. And um I, Greta, Greta did um, the speaker, I guess, that day. I don't know if they're going to have that speaker that day. But she did that, and it worked out perfect. So. Um, Where is the conference? conference? It's Gold at House. the Gold House. I'll tell you what, I'll try to see what my mom just said. She said, why don't you get reservations at the place where we ate last time, and then we'll just all eat together. I mean, within walking distance, there's Joe's Crab Shack. There's, um, oh, there's like a, what do you call it, um, place that has like sandwiches and stuff on the corner. There's a pizza place down the street. There's other things, you know, outside. And I don't know if, a, if it's going to be that crowded because, again, the conference ends at 1.30, so most people, there's not a break for lunch on Friday. So if we, if we as Casey broke, you know, then I don't think the restaurants will be quite as bad as... Let us have they, they would if all those people were going out to lunch from the conference. I don't know. I mean, remember one year we did a box lunch from the hotel? Do you remember that? Maria, you and I were just coming on. Yeah, I remember. I mean, it's, we, can, we can think about that. I can get prices. So... I'll get some prices and try to touch base with you with that. Do we know how many Casey people are going to be there? No. Sometimes they have like a minimum of 10 or something like that. Right. Right. Okay. Well, let's just let's just table this and make sure everybody puts it on their calendar that June 30th is this one we'll meet. Um, we'll start like about 9.30. Um, and then we'll go pretty much until like 4 with a lunch break. So, and then I'll, che I'll check on the booth and I'll check on the lunch thing and see what our options are there. Okay, so moving forward, I wanted to... Um, th for us to think about um, who would like to be on the SECA conference committee for Casey just to uh, think about the table um, for Casey and like Mississippi did they gave out waters with their name on it they did all kinds of little things so um, I, I just want um, us to, to look really good there and uh, so just think about that and we'll talk more about that at the board retreat. Maria, does SICA give the host state any funds? No, not that I'm aware of. Okay, I was just curious to do that kind of little stuff. Yeah. No. Okay. Okay. Um, I think they, they will give the, um, the, the membership commission has, can ask for funds 
for the Sika stuff that we give out um, and the student event, uh, but not for the, you know, not for anything for the state chapter necessarily, no. Okay. Okay. Um, I think Greta wanted to talk about the bonding um, for 2017, 2018. You mean April? I mean April. Oh, say. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, April, you want to talk about that? I'm just doing some research to try to find somebody. I've already found somebody who's a little cheaper. I just have to read the policy. Okay. I just, this, this guy with his Riddell, whatever, he wants $407 per person. Isn't that right? For a year. And it's only $50,000. And it's just, I just think it's a little bit. I thought it was 203 at first. Oh, is it? So, but either way, are you sure? Well, then I don't have my papers in front of me. So, <laughs> But either way, I just felt like we might be able to find it a little bit cheaper, so I'm shopping around to see what I can't find for the both of us. Because I do know that whoever I went through, the first one I found, he quoted us to like a $300 uh, rate, and it had a higher coverage. Okay. So I'm just trying to figure out what it is. So I'm going to get two or three quotes and then bring it back to the next meeting because I don't know what else to do. Okay. But I think, I think that writing whatever... He's, uh, and he didn't act like he cared that he, huh. right. all right, the next thing we need to talk about is we need to do some, um, and Tricia, I don't know if you can answer this question or you talked um, to Sika, but our liability insurance is due, is up the end of August, so, um, is SECA going to offer us a liability insurance policy? I think we're covered. If we're chartered, we're covered under theirs, aren't we? I don't know. We need. A, we weren't with NACI. We had. I think we are with SECA, though. Well, I need. I'm almost positive. I'm almost positive that's part of it. I'll ask. Yeah, because you need to find out too about the chapters. Yes. So, so do I need to initiate an email to Glenda and ask her that? No, I can. Can you copy me on that so that I have yeah. it in writing? Okay. Um, it may be even in the charter. I'll look. But if not, I'll ask her. Okay. Okay, the next three things um, we have worked on, and I don't, I don't know if we're ready to talk about these. Um, I've looked at some of them, but I haven't got a chance to go through all of it. So I guess I, what I'm wanting to know is how do we proceed with the Casey policy manual, the bylaws, and the job descriptions? This is something we should have had done before January the 1st. So we are really lagging behind on this. I thought that we approved the job descriptions already that Trisha and I we, worked on. Yeah, we we did. The only the only thing that came up as I was looking through the bylaws and the policy manual were that there were positions listed in those that are not included in the job description. Okay. So it's not anything that has to be changed except that if we want to put those in we need to add them okay the policy manual is fluid and only needs to be approved by the board but should I think reflect the same thing that the job descriptions of the bylaws say okay. the biggest thing is the bylaws because those have to be approved by the membership I have a question. Why did we do the job descriptions a second time after Greta and I worked on them before? I think because we had even more additions and we changed, we took out, 
some positions and rename some positions. And yeah. so that's what happened, I think. Yeah, we changed, we took out some and changed some. Because the SECA description changed tremendously based upon what we did at our SECA meeting. And then, and then we had we had added uh, what director, rep, and webmaster, and taken out ways and means. Yeah, vice president. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but the only yeah. the only changes now to the job description should be if we want to add those positions, which I had listed, and I don't have it in front of me. That's the only thing that needs to happen because those are listed either in the policy manual or in the bylaws. And we, uh, they all should reflect the same thing. Yeah, I agree. And part so of think, that, April could have been me because I just lost this in the shuffle, and I had to go back and ask Greta for what you all had done. So what you did is reflected in here. Because that's the first, that's the document that I started with. Yeah. So I think, I think we should start with the bylaws and figure out if what we want in there is presently in there. If we want something else in there, we need to, you know, say this is how we propose to change it. If we want to take things out, we need to take things out. But that's the thing that needs to go before the membership. Yeah. So I think if we can get agreed on, yes, this is what we want, or no, this is not what we want, this is what we need to change, then we can get that out there. And then the rest of it, you know, still needs to be done, but it can be done on a different timeline because those are fluid documents. Okay. That's a, that's a good... Could could we do this? Do we have enough time at the retreat to do it? Well, we've got to have it done before then. Okay. So we can we can do the policy manual and the job descriptions, but I'd really like to have all of that done before. So let's let's all start with the Casey bylaws, and let's say, you know that within the next week and a half that we're all going to have comments um, back to Tricia. And then um, we'll go from there. Well, I, I think the biggest thing is, yeah, that's good, but I think the biggest thing is some of this is stuff that we need to discuss. Okay. And so if we're trying to email back and forth, and I think it's just going to be easy for us to all be together on the phone or, you know, on Skype or something and say, okay, this is number one, this is number two, this is number three, I and agree. knock them out. That's the best way to do it because if you get a bunch of emails, it's just going to be a, a just a right. emailing. Right. 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 And we've got multiple v versions of multiple copies of multiple drafts. Okay. And that's confusing too. Okay, that's that's okay. I can handle that. All right, so today is the ninth and looking at May, um next Tuesday night I I could do another Tuesday if we could start like at five. Or I don't know, Tricia. What time you get on? I can't do that. I've got I've got to do childcare next week. It's our graduation. Okay. Um. But I could do thir Monday or Thursday. I Monday do doesn't give us a whole week, but. Well, I could do Monday. I just can't do. Uh, Monday, I have, let's see, I can't do Monday night, sorry. What What about the following Tuesday? What is that, the 23rd? Yeah, I can do the 23rd. So we want to plan on the 23rd at 6? 
Or can you do five? I can do five. I get off at four thirty. Okay. Everybody else, can you all do five? Mm, yeah. I can do five. Thursdays I'm teaching. Four to eight forty five. So you guys do it without me. Okay. I can do five Tuesday. Okay. The twenty third. Greta? I'm not sure. I don't have my Bible in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> Did you say your Bible? Yeah, my calendar. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I mean, the bylaws aren't going to take long. They're just a couple tweaking here and there. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. They, and then you know, because we approved it back in October 16, so it's just a you know updating with the Sika lingo. <laughs> Yeah, that's what that's what I think. I don't think it'll be that much. Okay, so let's all just meet on the twenty third for the bylaws. And um, if those go pretty fast, then let's say we'll do um, the job descriptions, or should we do the policy manual before the job descriptions? Aren't the job descriptions in the policy manual? Yeah, they are. They're part of the policy manual. Okay. Well, as the I said, the only thing the about the job descriptions is we just need to add those ones that aren't listed that are listed in the policy manual. Do we have parameters from SECA? About what? Well, I mean, don't they have a policy manual? Yeah, but ours is enormous. <laughs> I mean, the SECA policy is enormous. Right. And Kathy but, Asway just worked on those. But, I mean, is the language the same in what you've seen in the Casey one with the SECA one? I think so. I can go back and double check that, but I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, because right now I think the biggest thing with our policy manual is, you know, the, the local chapter business. Um, you know, are we following? I, do they yeah, have a I, uh, you know. the the Sika the Sika bylaws and policy um, does not have a whole lot in it about local chapters, state okay. affiliates. There's information in there, but local chapters there's not. And when okay. I reached out to my rep friends. A lot of them are in the same boat we are because of the NACI restructuring, because of other stuff. They're in the process of rewriting theirs, too. So, you know, we're all kind of just working with what we've got and trying to go forward. And that's um, something we discussed in the last meeting was uh, about the chapters. How are we going to, you know, keep abreast of right. what's going on with them and what we're right. going to do if they... Right. And and I think Yeah, I think there's some language in the Sika stuff that we could use, so I'll go back and look at that. Okay. Let's let's just work on the bylaws since we've got to get those done and then do I would like to make a motion that we actually complete them and be done with them. Uh, we've been doing this for a long time. We we will that night. <laughs> okay, good. Like I said, this is going to be done before the retreat. Got to do it, yeah. Okay. All right. So then I'll move forward with the KC policy manual after that. All right. Moving forward on our agenda. Um, I've already said the seek a dues. Um, I think. We've still got to have some um, concrete something from SECA telling us how to divvy out um, the dues because the chapters need to be paid and we don't want to get too far behind on that. So, um, Trisha, I hate to keep putting things on your plate, but as the rep, I mean, I, we really need to know how to do this. And I would explain to them that... You know, they're sending money in here with memberships. And on the membership sheet, 
you know, it gives their ad address and everything, but it doesn't, like, I mean, this one comes from Madisonville. So, I, okay, what what um, chapter would they be in? Would they be in Greta's? I mean, I have, or would they be in Audubon? I have no idea. I, I think they're supposed to self-select, aren't they? I don't know, because on this sheet, it, it does not give. Okay, I'll look. Okay. You know, what they self-selected, and that's how we pay them. And, okay. And the chapter's got to be able to pull it down like they did from NACI to say to the... Um, to their affiliate, hey, this is how much you owe me. Okay. So, and right now, you know, we've been, Seek has been sending us money faithfully at least twice a month, and the chapters need to be getting paid from that. So. Okay. <coughs> yeah. Okay, now it's Miss April's turn. With our financial report. Where'd you go? I'm right here. I had to get up. <laughs> <laughs> She's probably grading. <laughs> no, I'm not. You can't read it. Okay, I don't actually have a report other than that. We still need to put on here as well that um, for, for the last February meeting, we didn't get the minutes, so we needed to get all this stuff reapproved. Uh, also, if anybody knows like what to do about the tax form, look at Jay. Because we have to file some type of taxes or some type of tax form, and I have no idea what it is. So if anybody has any idea on that or knows an accountant, Greta, uh, yeah. who would be able to help us with that, that would be, uh, tell George that I would be greatly appreciative <laughs> of his insight if he could help us figure out what to do. Also, something that needs to be added is that... Um, We didn't, uh, that was also in the old minutes, what was it? It was the um, system that to look up or to automa uh, automate it or so to speak. What is it I'm talking, thinking about? Publish the book, you know, the books, keep the books, quick books or something, whatever it was. Yeah, that's it, up to $500 to buy her accounting software. That needs to go, okay. Yeah. Was it on there? Yeah. It was in February. Number F. Oh, I see it. Okay. And I totally could not see that. Okay. I was looking at the AAEC, whatever. Okay. And then other than that, I mean, I'm still getting stuff from NACI, but I guess NAUIC will stop sending that money. Uh, third, I guess the 30th will be our last payment because they usually do the 15th and the 30th, and that should be our last payment, right? Or do they go through June? Uh, I think they go through. No, they said, I don't know. I don't we're, know. we're no longer affiliated with them, isn't that June, June 30th or? Yeah, so I th like July 1st we quit. Oh, okay, yeah, so I'm maybe sure. I'll get we'll get our last payment on June 30th, and we won't have hardly any money coming in because the secret money is not a lot to laugh at. I mean, nothing to write home about. So I guess maybe uh, if we start spending a lot of money and thinking about what we want to do um, for like the Casey Tech. Not Casey, but the Kids Ready Conference, setting up the table and then doing the table for Sika, we really need to think about also um, something that would be stable, something that would stay forever, and then also think about what are we going to do to bring in more money. And, uh, that's what I've been saying all along. We're going to have to get out of the mindset that we are not going to make money. We've got to figure out a way to make some money. And um, whether that's doing our own conference or what. Um, but, you know, some of the tickets that I've seen where they brought in money, if, they, if the conference people had done their jobs correctly, a lot of times they would have made ten to $14,000 a year on their conference so you know I don't know but anyway okay so we've got these things that we need to approve um, and let's go 
Okay. Let's start there. I move, I move to accept all A through J <laughs> for approval. Okay, so um, the bonding insurance, we've got to pay it $407.50, and this is a back pay that we didn't pay. Um, see, that's why I said there was just one that wasn't paid. Okay. Because so, I paid the one, and okay, I thought so, the one took care of it. Do you see what I'm saying? That's why I was thinking that this was, and now we owe again for the next year. Okay, so we have to pay $203 or something. What about cents? Yeah. Okay. $203.25 instead of the four oh seven fifty. So that's what we owe them. If we want to use them again, we have to pay $407.50. Okay, but let's pay the back pay first of 203.25. Do I have a motion on the floor to pay 203.25 to roading insurance for the bonding insurance of 2016 and 2017? This is Tricia. I move. Do I have a second? Greta second. Greta seconds. Do I, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay, that has been approved. Um, second is we have received a thousand dollars from SICA um, to reimburse um, however we want to. So April Grace has asked for forty-five dollars to pay for her policy luncheon reimbursement, which the college would not pay for for her. So I am requesting. Yeah, go ahead. I, we, I went ahead and put it on the credit cards because we approved it at the last meeting and it was already up to do it. So, yeah. Okay, we went ahead and took care of that. So let's, do I have a motion on the floor to uh, pay for April Grace's policy luncheon at $45? It's gratis, so moved. Do I have a second? Trisha, second. Okay, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay, Bonnie has turned in um, a $712.07 bill. Um, she sent that to April, and I just want to break it down for you so that you understand it. Her airline ticket was $369.61. Her baggage ticket to and from was 50. The SECA registration was 105. Policy luncheon 45, and she charged one um, hotel night of 42.46. So she had asked. I think we said $500, but she turned in 712.07. Um, she and I will refrain from your discussion, so I'm going to um, ask April if she'll um, be the person to lead this discussion. We agreed on the 500. I think that's what we need to stick with because, you know, we were looking at covering. Um, um, we were looking to cover like the registration and things like that. Well, did she not stay with you and the college not cover that part of your Perkins funding? Yeah, that's why she's only got one night on there. Okay. Did you not stay all three nights or all every night? Or why would she have one night on there if the college paid for it? Because the, the bill that I turned in, it looked like that I had paid or they had given me a free night the first night. And um, that's what I thought. And then mom came back and she said, no. Um, remember, we had, we, we had missed, missed done our reservations. So when I got there, I had to pay 142.46 that night for that first night. So that's why she put it on her bill. So no, I didn't get reimbursed for that night. And I didn't get reimbursed for all of my expenses anyway. I still went in the hole. Well, I think everybody goes in the hole when you think of something. The two hundred fifty dollar luggage ticket. I don't know about the rest of you, but I just. I mean, I don't. I'm sorry. I don't see you paying that. Two hundred fifty. Is that what you said? No. 50. Or fifty. 
25 back. Okay. It sounded like you said 250. Okay. So, what uh, can we get discussion from the group? If we agreed on the 500, should we not just reimburse for the 500? Well, Maria, what else are you out? So, if we agree on the 500 for Bonnie, what else are you out? I was out that hotel room and my um you know i i think that the thousand needs to be used for sika i mean that's what it's there for you know that's my personal opinion we're not supposed to be making money off of what they gave us for people to go to the conference okay so that leaves 955 dollars after the policy luncheon for me so Bonnie's the 500, and then Trisha's what, 50 for the basket. Oh, I thought that was just coming out of our regular funds anyway. Oh, all right. Yeah, the 50, the 50 comes out of just Casey money. Okay. But Maria, how much were you out besides the hotel room? Um, I was, I see, I. Golly, I. I was at four hundred for a hospital bill. Oh God! <laughs> 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 hospital. <laughs> so was Maria afterwards. Yeah, <laughs> she got the I'm, saying, I'm still paying for it. Not paying for it that way, but paying for it through being sick. Um. I can't. I can't quote that right now. I got four, a thousand four hundred and eighty back, and um, I, I want to say that the whole thing was like 50, almost sixteen hundred dollars. So I don't know. So why did you not? It, was that because of the hotel room? That one hotel room, or are you talking about? Because I asked oh, for four hundred. $1,480 just my part of the hotel room was $800 of that money so then you add the registration and you add my $369 airline ticket and the $50 luggage just like mom and the $45 policy luncheon you already spent that so I didn't so from the college standpoint, they weren't going to pay me for my my food that I normally get reimbursed for. Um, they because you didn't for my to parking, for where I parked my car all week, which was a hundred dollars. Okay, and that's because you chose you chose not to ask for the correct or you for, uh, failed to ask for the correct amount of the money. Is that what you're saying? Yes. For, for parking. Well, this is my thing. Be uh, I always speak because we agreed that to took take care of Bonnie. I'm not but, asking for Bonnie. Yeah, I just don't see that, you know, because that's a something else. I don't know. What does everybody think? Can we get discussion, please? This is Trisha. I, I agree about Bonnie's five hundred dollars, but as the the money that Sika gives to us is to pay for right. leadership expenses. So if we have that money and we're not going to send it back, then I, I think that we should reimburse whoever. You know, if somebody okay. else went to the public policy luncheon, if somebody else had to pay parking. Whoever was at that leadership institute, you know, and wants to ask for some reimbursement, that's what that money is for. They will need to divvy that because the thing, yeah, because I mean, I don't know. I just honestly, well, with before the more people ask for it, you know, I know I've gotten some in the past. So because there's only, and April, all of yours was covered. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I would say that. You know, I'm sure Maria can come up with her receipts that because we voted on Bonnie's 500, that Maria should get the other 455, which is well. Then the we balance. need to pay all of Bonnie's, which is 700 something. 
Well, but the thing is, or pay she, all the bonnies and then give Maria the balance of that. Okay. We got it, like they said, we got to use it. Otherwise, Zika won't send us that money again. Okay, that's fine. The thing is, I just want to make sure that we have appropriate documentation when they see that she's being reimbursed for other things. That if you said right. I'm saying from the college that that doesn't get into a fraudulent blah blah. blah. Right. You know but, well, that's, but that's Maria's issue. She got to worry about yeah. her college. <laughs> but Sika, in terms of what Sika reimburses us for, we are reimbursed for luggage. You know the the standard $25, one bag, whatever. We're reimbursed for airfare. We're reimbursed for food. We're reimbursed for, uh, well, those, those are the things that come out of our pocket. Sika covers the room and the the other food, the board food. Uh, but we, we get paid for, or we get covered for our baggage, our airline, our mileage, and whatever food we get, you know, outside of what they feed us so to me those are i don't have an issue at all with paying those for marie bonnie you know okay. because that's that's what we get um, and that's what money is expected to be paid for whatever their fees are which to me well we get reimbursed for parking tolls tips you know all that stuff well here's the um, thing i need to have and this is what i'm stressing specific documentation of what you were actually reimbursed for from case right. uh, from KCTCS. I need all that documentation. Then I need the receipts and everything for the things you were not reimbursed for, and it needs to be an itemized statement. I'm not going to supply that because it's got all of my numbers on it, and I'm not, do well, I'm not doing it. Black out your numbers. Because do you see what do you understand what where I'm coming from? I do understand, but I'm not I'm not going to give that. I'm sorry. Without the appropriate I'm documentation, be, I'm going to be Donald Trump here. I'm not doing it. So I'd rather just not be reimbursed because I'm not doing it. I mean, a parking ticket doesn't have your name on it. No, I can give a parking ticket, but she's saying I have to give my stuff that I turn into KCTC. Okay, KCTC. Yes. And I'm not doing that. So, so how do we determine based on, do you see what I'm saying? Because what if somebody comes back and says, look, this money was somebody else reimbursed her because she was doing it for her job. Do you, do you see the predicament we could be in as a result of that? I yeah, do. But it's not our ethics. It's hers. And no. I, let, let, I'd just rather not go there. I'll just put it that way. All right. So, well, Maria, just right off, off the bat, you know that that KCTCS didn't pay for your parking, right? I do know that. Okay. And and I'm sure you got that receipt. But I mean, you know, what I said, like the food, I can't, I can't About disclose that. that because I mean, I don't know. I don't want. I well, just, on the reimbursement form for KCTCS, it has blocks for food. Did it, you fill any of those blocks in? No, I did, but it went over the amount. Oh, okay. What did Sika do for a per diem, uh, Tricia? They, they have a set. I, I don't know what it is off the top of my head, but I can get it for you. I went over the amount for KCTCS, too. Everybody goes over the amount. They don't give enough for per diem. That's just the way it is. Okay, yeah. so, so to me, basically, instead of looking at me, um, you could pay per diems to mom for her lunches. I mean, the 712.07 does not include any of her food. Right. So. What did Trisha say? I'm sorry, I blanked out. We, we do, Sika does have per diems for us for our food, but I don't know what they are off the top of my head, but I can get them for you. <coughs> Because I think that's what we need to do, play, pay a per diem. But that's just it. All of us are going to go over because you can't go to a big city. And, I mean, I'm over every time I go. I'm always in the hall. Yeah. Because I, I don't want to eat at McDonald's. Well, I think the thing <laughs> is, April, you're not asking for any more money, right? No. Okay. Maria's not asking for any money. We got this money from Sika. Right. We're still not going to be spending the $1,000 if we pay Bonnie the 712. So 
again, that's not coming out of our bank account. It's something they gave us. So we're still short $242.93 on what we're supposed to be giving to somebody. So well, but, but what, I know what we, that is, SICA, SICA authorizes up to $1,000. If we don't spend it, then that's okay. But uh, yeah, but I thought we already got a check from them. Right. That okay. Well, then we can if we can send it back and say we did not need this because that's the board agreed that each state would get up to a thousand dollars. Right. And so that check got sent. If it doesn't get spent, we can send the money back. And that won't count against us in terms of, well, they didn't use it all last year because some states didn't use all of their $1,000 either. But we're, re we're saying we have in our budget up to $1,000 to give to states to help defray this cost. I make a motion, let's settle this, to reimburse Bonnie the 71207, increasing her previous allotment of $500 due to no one else on the board seeking reimbursement for expenses. Okay, I would second that. Any more discussion? Because, I mean, from according to what Trisha just said, we've got a motion on the floor in a second. So, Maria? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Thought people was leading that to two. All in favor? Okay, sorry, I'm doing some calculations. Aye. Aye. Well, aye. 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 April, you just said something. I said I was doing calculations to figure out because that would just give us with 242.93. So this is my discussion. Um, left over. Right. With the public policy luncheon uh, taken care of or whatever. So we're just talk, talking about reimbursing her the seven twelve zero seven. Correct. Okay. You the forty five. Yeah. And nobody else asked. So. So we'll send the two hundred and forty two ninety three back. Three back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, like Trisha said, we we got it. It's not coming out of our bank account. So. I mean, nobody else, like Jay and did Sue go this time? Nobody else submitted anything, so. So, yeah. All right, so call for a vote. All those are in favor? Uh, Aye. Those opposed? Like sign. Okay, so we will reimburse uh, uh, Casey for the $45 and then uh, uh, Miss Bonnie for seven twelve oh seven. Sounds good. It may be different if it was coming out of our account, but it's not. Well, see, in the beginning, that's what we had said we would do. I, I you know, asked to at least pay for a registration and stuff up front. Yeah. But, but you know, if nobody else wants it, then. Okay. Yeah, but I just, I'm sorry about that, Marie, but I just, I have a problem paying for a per diem that you've already been paid a per diem for. Do you see what I'm saying? Well, you just have to understand that I'm very private about my finances, so I'm not, I just, I'm like well, Donald Trump. It's nobody's business but mine, well, and I wouldn't cheat anybody out of anything, so. Yeah, but do you understand we have to have documentation for, uh, if we're ever audited? So. Yeah, so now. Okay, I, I need to move on because security's wanting to, to lock the building. <laughs> okay, so. Trisha, um, her reimbursement for the basket is $50. So do I have a motion on the floor to uh, pay Trisha $50 for the Sika basket? I thought we already approved that. We, we did approve it, but it's so not. Why do we have to do it again? Because the minutes weren't. Oh. Writing. Okay, so we're going back on all the February stuff? Yeah. Okay, yeah. sorry. Okay, so do I have a motion on the floor? That makes sense. Right. 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 Right.
Scrat a second. Scrat a second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Okay. Next, um, the AC board, we did this in an email, but we didn't have a quorum. So the AC, $500, they increased it. And um, from $100 to $500, they said they, they had to have that in order to um, do some business. So um, can I have a motion on the floor to give them $500 of their $9,000 or whatever it was, almost $10,000, to start their new bank account? Um, do I have a motion on the floor for that? This is Trish. I move. Okay. Do I have a second? I got a second. Okay. Any discussion about that? Okay. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Any opposed? Okay. Moving forward. Um, QuickBooks is what um, April is probably going to be buying and I looked at that at Sam's and the price depending on which one we get um, the lower end is like $200 the high end is like $400 so the $500 would, it, would really take care of her and I think she needs to go for the higher level one um, so she doesn't um, need the one with the personnel, personnel thing. Oh, Bob said the higher one is usually with personnel stuff. So, um, April, you just probably need to look at that and see, you know, which one you think you want. But let's give her an allowance up to $500 to buy that accounting software. And I do want to say that she's probably, this is a, a yearly fee that she's probably going to have to to do. Um, so, and it's well worth it because you'll, you'll be getting, all she has to do is punch a button. She'll, it'll do all of her accounts and show all the expenses and all that kind of stuff. And, and I, and I just want to say, you know, her job is taking a lot of time. So pushing a button is something that she really needs. Um, so I um, feel like I'm preaching to the choir here, but um, so do I have a motion on the floor for April Grace to purchase up to $500 on her accounting software? So move this, Greta. Okay, a second. Tricia, second. Okay, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Any opposed? Okay, reinstatement of the Audubon chapter. We've already done this, but to officially do it again, once more, do I have a motion on the floor to reinstate Audubon? This is Trish, I move. Second. April. Okay, um, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Anybody opposed? Anybody opposed? Sorry for the echo. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving forward, we have West Kentucky membership dues um, that were for, the, I believe, the first quarter, $26. These are the NACI dues. They are not SECA dues, to make that very clear. Um, do I have a motion on that? Clarify that. That's for fourth quarter 2016. Okay, thanks. Thank you for that clarification. That is fourth quarter 2016. Please note that in the minutes. Okay. For the $26? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, do I have a motion on the floor? So moved. Okay, that's April, and I have a second. Robin. Robin. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Moving forward, the Secretary of State, um, this is our um, 
let's see. It's our annual fee um, to ensure that we are a nonprofit organization. It's a $15 fee, <clears throat> but um, April had gotten a bill for $90 and we're trying to figure that out because we paid this. No, last. And I, I didn't get a bill for it. What I, I called to find out what we needed to do to see if it was overdue and she said that we weren't active. And she said that would cost $90 and then I sent you that check and somehow someone in the mail system has eaten it. And that 15, uh, then you sent me the thing asking for the $15. So I'm confused as to, does the state have all our information? But it seems like they do, or they, they want us to renew by June the, with the $15. Well, so that $90 never I know was that paid. Rick Waddle paid that last year. Yeah, but do you understand what I'm saying? When I called up there, they said, oh, well, you're inactive. But where's... And told me we need to reimburse, or we need to pay them the $90 and fill out that form, and that's what I sent to you that disappeared. So it wasn't a bill that they sent us. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay, got it. So, so hopefully uh, the $15 will take care of it <laughs> with okay. the bill that you But we, we could have to pay up to 90 So let's, whichever fee she needs to pay, we need to get it taken care of. So do I have a motion on the floor to pay up to $100 to the Secretary of State to make sure that we are a nonprofit organization? This is Robin, I do. Okay, do I have a second? Mr. Trish, yeah. Okay, all in favor, please say aye. 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 I do have a question about that. Um, how does that work with the chapters nonprofit? I mean, right now I've been using, you know, the same stuff from Casey forever for with Casey. I don't know if that's something. Are we supposed to be paying something there too? I. You know, am I responsible? No, I think you come under us. Are you responsible for me, April? <laughs> I don't know. This is, a, I mean, I'm not. This a, is important stuff. I don't know. Yeah. Let me just I, tell you, I was on a family advocacy board like two or three years ago, um, and I kept watching money go out and a president signing checks and all this other stuff, and uh, somebody who was, uh, her husband, the girl who was running the family advocacy, was actually doing the books. He was a CPA, which was hinky to me. And I kept questioning everything. And I want you to know that um, we've all been questioned by the cops. She has been indicted. And we're all still on the chopping block because our names were on the board. I remember I that. this stuff very seriously. Uh, <laughs> no, no, my, just... brother and I, my brother and I have got a business together. Yeah. Now, in the Secretary of State, our company pays the $15. Now, we've also got separate entities under that, and we have to pay the $15 for both <clears throat> of our entities under that. Oh. Yeah, see, I, nobody's ever I said. I think all the chapters have to pay that. So you guys pay your own. We, we're not responsible for that, are we? Right. <laughs> that, that's what I'm saying. But I think, I think you do. You think we do? No, 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 no. I no, think the chapter. Think yeah. Possible. Lord, don't forget me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't afford that. <laughs> yeah, to protect my brother and I, our personal assets, we have our own uh, corporations under that, and everybody has to pay their their dues to the Secretary of State. Okay. okay. Lord have mercy. I'm just terrified after this whole family advocacy stuff. Well, I mean, it's, it's very true. Right. Look, it's, it's just, yeah, it's scary. That, and that's why I was asking, you know, yeah. I just. You, you all can call up there to the Secretary of State. Yeah, uh, I did. And they're, they're very friendly. They'll walk you right through everything. Yeah. <laughs> and document who you are so they can come after you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I had called them, and that's the ones that he, she said, oh, well, you guys are inactive. I'm like, excuse me? He's like, he's like the $90 he's was never paid. Oh. She's, she's already. Uh, guys, I hate, to, I hate to run this, but I've got to be out of the building in less than 10 minutes. Uh -huh. So, um, 
Okay, so the Secretary of State, <coughs> where are we at on this? I thought we said yay. Oh, I yeah. So the tax form, I'm going to con contact Rick and ask him what to do about that because he'll be able to tell us. <coughs> and ask he'll also be able to tell me about the Secretary of State because he did that last year. And he sent me the form, and I know he, I know he paid it. Yeah. Okay. I should have a canceled check on it. So, no, we reimbursed him. He paid it. Is there any more business that we need to talk about? Okay, we've had a fruitful um, board meeting tonight, and I really appreciate it. It's been long, but it's been fruitful. So... If there's not anything else, I'm going to adjourn and um, go home so I can let the security guards out. <laughs> and we'll just meet back on the, uh, what day did we say? <coughs> <coughs> yes, May the 23rd at 5 o'clock. I'll, I'll, okay. I'll send a Skype thing out for in the next okay. couple of days on that. <coughs> All right. Well, thank you all for um, for your wisdom and sharing your concerns and being able to discuss things that don't seem always the greatest thing to talk about. I'm talking about the money. That's what I'm talking about right now. But we can all leave here as friends and realize that <laughs> April's looking out for us. Yes. <laughs> And and I thank thank her for that every day when she reminds me to do things. So April, you just keep doing your job. <clears throat> and Trisha, thank you for so much for all your hard work, and all of you all for your hard work. I, I really do appreciate you. I hope you know that. And just I need your prayers for my ears. I've been dealing with a double ear infection for almost a month and a half now and they tell me that I'm losing some hearing because of it and um, so I really need your prayers <clears throat> so I just want to say good night and you all have a night. you all be safe you too take care I will bye bye, bye.